Trudeau goes to China and Canada gets embarrassed. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Justin Trudeau's much ballyhooed trip to China is, well, a failure. You won't hear that in much of the mainstream media. They'll be too busy talking about photo ops and how wonderful Sophie looked and not looking at the actual results of this trip. But I can tell you, Justin Trudeau didn't do much for Canada on the trade file while he was in China, and he got a lecture from state-run media. Have you heard about that yet? Well, I'll tell you in a moment, but first on the trade file. Was Trudeau able to increase Canada's opportunities in China? Not really. There's talk that Canada and China may hold future discussions about a possible free trade deal. No biggie there. The Conservatives, the people who supposedly had frozen relations with China, they talked about that. They just didn't move forward. These things take a long time, and we can't expect anything concrete out of that. There's nothing concrete in that. On one of the major irritants in the Canada-China trade file right now, though, Trudeau just punted. He was not able to solve the canola crisis. Canola is a major crop in Canada, and China takes 40% of all of our exports. Now, this is worth some $2 billion for Canadian farmers. Trudeau was supposed to do something to stop uh, the exports from being shut down on September 1st. Did he come up with a solution? No. He simply delayed regulations that the Chinese want to bring into effect that are basically a non-tariff -tra trade barrier. It's an attempt by China to shut out Canadian canola in favor of Chinese rapeseed producers. This is not how trade's supposed to work, not if you're going to join the WTO like China did many years ago. But they're trying to find ways to do this and screw Canadian farmers. Did Justin Trudeau stand up for them? No, he didn't come up with a solution, and he likely acquiesced to the, the fact that the Chinese premier said he didn't want to talk about it while he was there. Now, Trudeau, according to the Canadian ambassador, did raise the issue of human rights while at the same time saying Canada's not perfect. Now, it's true that Canada's not perfect, but can you really compare China's human rights record in Canada's? State-run media did. In fact, it sounds like Justin Trudeau might have been reading from the state-run media, which published a commentary in English basically lecturing Canada, saying, you've got your own problems, don't talk to us about human rights, a place where you're not allowed to have free and open democratic elections, a place where you're not afforded freedom of speech, you're not afforded freedom of religion, where minorities are regularly trampled. And yet, in China's state-run media, here's what they said. In fact, all countries can, including Canada, have improvement to make over the human rights issue. For example, some indigenous people in Canada still live in miserable conditions. They deserve more support and real changes in their lives. It is penny wise and pound foolish to spoil China-Canada ties with these domestic concerns in Canada. Translation, they're saying, well, we probably shouldn't trade with Canada because of their human rights record, but we, we're going to anyway. Let's not spoil it because they have problems. Is that really the lecture that Canada should be getting from a, a country like China with such a dismal human rights record? Is that the warm welcome? Is that the reset that Justin Trudeau said he was going to bring about? This is nothing short of an embarrassment. And if it had happened under Stephen Harper, it would have been front page news across the country. It would have been nonstop chatter on the cable networks. But instead, you're mostly hearing crickets on this one because Trudeau went to China and is now revered just as his father was. It's not the truth now, it wasn't the truth back then. And the downside is, there's nothing in this deal for Canada. Not even people like Kevin Garrett, the Canadian in jail, who Trudeau did nothing for while he was there. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.